Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 in 10 P's. We're looking through these after the Alphabet 10 P's. We want some 2019 ones. We're six coins off finishing our first ever 2019 book. We've got A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L and M, N, O, P, R, T, U, V and X. So any of those last six would be very, very well confined. But the 2019s are so scarce, so rare, so hard to find. We started not our second, but our third uh, 2018 book, having completed two previously. Uh, we're not too far into this book, it has to be said. We've got I, we've got M, and we've got X. So uh, a bit of mix of coins there. Uh, let's hope we can take off some more from this book, but ideally some 2019s, but I won't grumble at any we find. So let's get into these bags see what we get okay then whilst the coin hunt is ongoing i'm going to be uh, replying or commenting on comments that have recently been left on my uh, youtube videos if you get a random love and like from me but no reply that's because i've popped it into my uh, little data bank support <laughs> i've taken a screenshot of it ready to respond to it on a 10p coin hunt in the future so we start with the user fp3pr2ox7q uh, says running the risk of being banned but have you ever considered using an ultrasonic cleaner with a mild slope slash detergent to clean up coins? Uh, keep up the awesome work. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, you won't get banned for saying that, that uh, that's one way of cleaning a coin. Um, but my general rule of thumb is don't clean coins at all with anything. Uh, it doesn't matter what people say or, th or, or try to persuade you. Cleaning a, cloin, a cleaning a coin? Cleaning a coin is still cleaning a coin and will remove value from the coin. Uh, obviously, the, the more abrasive you uh, scrub a coin, uh, the more value you'll lose. And I totally accept if you are just trying to clean a coin to look nice in your collection or for uh, people that try to make um, I know, furniture like tabletops that are then covered in resin, whatever. Um, again, you're not doing that specifically for a coin collector to then buy that coin for its numismatic value. So that's fine. And they're your coins. You can do what you want. But if you intend to unlock the potential value of a coin in the future by reselling it at some point, uh, leaving it to someone to sell, don't clean them because otherwise there won't be any value in them or reduced value. Master Temple says, I get excited when I find an Olympic. A little too excited, but my question to you, Christopher, what coin have you found that made you ridiculously overexcited? Happy days. Um, so that's from my very good friend, Master Temple. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. The Kew Gardens obviously stand out as being phenomenal, uh, phenomenally exciting coins to come across and find. I don't think they would ever get... Uh, a re well, they would never get a oh that's a cool reaction it, I think I would be bamboozled by it um, the recent NIFC two pound coin was very good find if you haven't seen that was a Thursday's video wow he was a good find um, I still I still like finding Olympics as well uh, the Olympics is still very very cool I think probably the most shocked uh, I can't remember if I mentioned this last week. The most shocked I've ever been at finding a coin was the fried egg era two pound coin. It was uh, phenomenally cool to find. That's probably the most ridiculous coin I've found. Uh, Christina Gregorio, uh, apologies if I mispronounced that, I'll try my best, says, I have 100 pound of King Charles Coronation 50 pence. My question is, do I spend or do I save? Oh, it's a tough one. So, uh, I'm keeping mine for the time being. The Royal Mint have uh, already indicated that they're going to mint up to 5 million of them. Um, and in the past, when they've given us these indicative mintage figures, that's been bang on the money. If it ends up being 5 million, that puts it as a fairly common coin that's probably not going to have any more than face value. Uh, I would check them all to make sure you haven't got any crowned portraits of the king, because they will be more valuable because they weren't put into circulation. But I'm expecting at the end of next year, uh, if that's when the mintage figures come out for it to be confirmed it's 5 million and all the ones that are stashed away will end up going back to the bank uh, Trail for buddy Moore says Christopher put Benjamin Bunny error as a spot in the book it's only fair since you have a space for the flag error in the two pound book I get your logic I totally do 100% but uh, I, I'm not going to do that I'm afraid it starts a slippery slope of do I, what, what, do I start putting lots of error coins into across uh, all the different books and then effectively the Navy Centenary flag error one is one I've always said if we complete the book bar that coin obviously we move on to the next one it's just a variant um, I think that's more 
indicative of the time when I started making these videos uh, that was included rather than other coins that aren't so um, just it's just been grandfathered in whereas uh, if we discovered I don't know the active union uh, rotation error which has only been uh, highlighted to me after I've started making the videos I'm then not going to start putting those errors coins in the book so I don't want to be adding error coins into the book other than the one that is there because uh, I always have looked for it. All right, Alan McCulloch, again I hope I pronounced that right, says great find I have also had a good week got a Commonwealth Games Wales in my change on Monday and an O 10p today. My goodness gracious me that is a good week even by my standards hunting through bags upon bags of coins that's a very good week so I, I would definitely recommend going back to wherever you got those coins from and getting more from them. Ryan D683 says, do all 2019 shields sound tinny or just some of them? It's just some of them. The vast majority of them sound absolutely perfect. So um, again, it's just through handling coins, hunting through so many coins, uh, you get used to the sound of the coins. And there seems to be some in 2019. I don't know if it's a different uh, composition of the metals, but they just sound off really tinny and clingy and they don't sound, or clinky, not clingy, clinky. Not, they don't sound like real 50p coins so I have been keeping them just I don't know why I just have so yeah it's not all of them it's just some of them it seems Paul Hoskins says Christopher if they did some more Harry Potter films and you had a part would you like to be a goodie or a baddie I think if I'm cast in a major film like that it's uh, it's more of an indictment on the field of acting because I have no acting skills but uh, oh I'd be a baddie being a baddie is much more fun than being a goodie isn't it right <laughs> I feel like I'm a nice person that uh, if you got the opportunity in fiction to or through through uh, playing a role or a character to be uh, an evil mean person I think that'd be the best way to do it uh, Com Dam says I always like when you both do videos like this I also wonder what you were both laughing at before the video started that's uh, this week's Unhuntables on Wednesday of Grossy and I today two, two pence coin hunt and we go through the often nominations looking for territories and IFCs and other intriguing things and have a little chit chat throughout the videos um, yeah, I really like doing them uh, there's lots of people in the comments that like uh, taking part in those videos and enjoying them too uh, what were we laughing at before this video started <laughs> If you go over to Gracie's video, you'll get to see uh, he, he spurred me into a bit of a rant about uh, uh, some of the behind the scenes of the Unhuntables, uh, the, my frustrations with him at times. But uh, this time, uh, we were after the 80 millionth time, we were saying, Gracie, you ready? He signed up and said yes. And I paused, made sure everything was recording. Uh, and then he said, hello and welcome back. Uh, <laughs> and did my line. I was like, I'm not, I'm not having that. And I, and I did my intro. I almost left it in, but... I, I, the last moment I, took, I did take that bit out but that's what we're laughing at Simon Amer says Jane Austen, Agatha Christie now if you find Shelley slash Frankenstein uh, we will have to award you the Charlie badge as you found three angels and uh, that would be very very cool so yes I did recently find an Agatha Christie two bound coin which is a coin that I have actually just there just there you can't see well, you might be able to tell what that is probably not with the size of where my little box in the corner of this video um the, the best two pound coin i found all year hands down it's so exciting to come across an nisc because they were not minted to go into circulation so that's been busted out of a pack spent or um cashed into the bank and it's, and it's found its way into my collection which i'm very very happy with um but yeah frankenstein that would i think everyone knows it's my favorite uh, coin of all time it has been for some time if if I found a Frankenstein two pound coin that would make my decade it would be I mean Agatha Christie has made my year it's come in right at the end of the year it was all, it, we were almost into 2024 but uh, that's definitely probably it's gonna because the uh, Friday Guerra's 2022 wasn't it so I think this is probably my best find of the year uh, and there are many weeks left to go to the end of it. But yes, if I found a Frankenstein, my goodness gracious me, I would be so excited. Uh, DN Cole says, what a brilliant find. I'll never understand why some people break these coins out of sets and spend them. So again, that's Agatha Christie. So again, it's it's it, 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 it really interests me. I would love to be able to track back and find where that coin has come from. And for, for exactly the reason, finding out why this person spent it. But the only rationale I can come to, because I know people say if people are hard on if they're going through hard times they might just cash the coin in uh, and spend it I really don't think that's the case unless you're talking unless they were like common coins if they're really common coins and you are in a real predicament then you can go and spend those coins but 
a Jane Austen in its packaging is uh, Jane Austen, an Agatha Christie in its packaging is going to retail for much more than two pounds. Um, in its packaging, it's going, to, it's, it's going to be north of ten pounds, ten, fifteen, maybe even twenty pounds on a really, really good day if you get the right buyers. Um, so it really does perplex me as to how that's got into circulation. I can only assume it's been given to someone, inherited by someone, gifted to someone. Uh, who doesn't understand coin collecting in that way and has just seen it as a two pound coin and has spent it because I really don't think a collector would cash in a coin that's definitely going to sell for over face value that you could probably get to sell very quickly on in fact um, so yeah I, I, I would love to know exactly why that got in circulation to understand more but there we go Woohoo says, I came back to this video after watching you find the Agatha Christie coin to relive the NIFC festivities. Great stuff. So that was um, the one where I found the Jane Austen one, which was in 2022, uh, which equally seems a million years ago, but also five minutes ago. Um, but uh, I was I did, did try to track back to see when I released that video because I couldn't remember when it was. Uh, and uh, to be able to title that video uh, the best two pound coin hunt uh, the best two pound coin I found all year I didn't want it to end up in the same year that I'd found the fried egg era and the um, Jane Austen because both of them were quite cool although I think the Agatha Christie does top the Jane Austen so that's probably my second best two pound coin find ever because the fried egg I think would take some beating I think Frankenstein would beat it out but uh, the fact that there were some Jane Austen two pound coins that got put into circulation uh, in my hometown of Basingstoke, um, being the, the, the birthplace they call it of Jane Austen, although I don't think it's actually Basingstoke, it's just outside of Basingstoke. But um, so yeah, there were some some issue, some some of them were issued in uh, were given out the loose coins, whereas the Agatha Christie, not to my knowledge. So although both were coins not intended for circulation, to the best of my knowledge, some Jane Austens were given out, whereas none of the Agatha Christies were. But anyway, with that being said, let's get back to the coins. Well, there we go, our finds for today. A nice little spread of the territories. No Alphabet 10 piece, sadly, but we did get three from Jersey. 92, 2012, and 2012 again. So, interesting spread of dates. The uh, Gibraltar Euro Port. Is that 95, is that? And then a Guernsey 1992, 10 pence too. So, uh, some interesting finds. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video is. And if you found an Alphabet Tempe, uh, unlike what I have done this week, then do let me know in the comments. I want to know what letter you got and where you got it from. Links, as usual, are in the description of this video, though, to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come over and join the conversation there. There's also links to my social media channels and to uh, the PO Box stress if you want to write in to me. There is also a link to the Britannia Coin Company, who is the coin dealer I work for as my day job, so please do check them out as well. All it leads me to do now, though, is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.